Hi guys, we're back. It's Let's Play Police Quest 2. I know it's been a long time, but my save file kind of got corrupted or something. I had to play back to where we were at. And in his heavy Italian accent, Officer Giuseppe says, Well, it's about the time, Sonny. I found this car with the blood dripping from the trunk, he says. The door was unlocked with the keys inside. I took the keys and opened the trunk. That's when I found the man with the hole in his head. His car is registered to Woody Roberts. Some of you may recognize that name. So, let's... Oh. I called the corner. Now you can take over, Sonny. This a mess, sir. Ugh. Says Keith. I'll search the car, Sonny. You can t examine the trunk. So let's... Whoops, I'm ah, going crazy here. Let's first press the minus key a couple times and then open trunk. Get kit. And we can leave the trunk open. Let's look at this tr trunk. Oh, this guy's messed up. Okay, let's uh, take pictures. I like how they have the nice somber music, but then you get some points. It uh, changes the whole mood. Um, let's uh, look at body. Looks like he took a bullet in the head. There are no other obvious wounds. Alright, let's uh, take blood. And... Uh, Look at face. Wait, you think? I know him. That's Woody Roberts, the guy who you just got told the car was registered to. He testified at Beans' trial last year. Alright, so that's important. Let's look at hands. Oh, we find an envelope clutched in the victim's left hand. Get envelope. Get, whoops, get corner of. Pry the stiff fingers loose and take the corner of an envelope. Let's, oh. A pretty gruesome, eh, Sonny? How's a one person can I do that to another? Is really... You know what? Uh, sick. Uh. Where's this body? I don't see nobody. Ha ha. Let me guess. The trunk, of course. Where else would it be? Yes, to rebub definitely looks like an execution. All right, let's read our envelope first. Read corner of envelope. It's an address for five three uh, seven five three Third Street in Lighton. Hmm. Bill Cole. So let's um, remove the body to help this guy out. Oh, apparently, uh, he's on a diet. Get it? Because he died. And also can't eat anymore. So they get him in the back of the vehicle, and, uh, off they go. So let's look back in this trunk. Now let's look in trunk. Find a note. Get note. You find uh, the note you find beneath Woody's body. On it is written, You're a dead man, Sonny Bonds. 
Uh oh. All right, let's uh. Exit this. There we go. Did you find something, Sonny? Tell Mario. Whoops. Talk, man. Tell Mario clues. I guess he doesn't really care. Wait, say yes. <laughs> That's a great. I hope you catch the murderer. Me too. All right, let's talk, Keith. What a crappy guy. All right, let's put our kit back in the trunk. Put kit in trunk. Close trunk. Let's look corner again. Maybe we can drive there and find out what that place is. I don't have a pen. Oh, I'm not very organized, am I? All right, so 753 Third Street. Okay. Radio in. Okay, let's um, drive to 753 3rd Street. I wish we could hit the turbo button. Oh, Keith. Keith hopes this lead isn't a dead end. So I think, if I recall correctly, we are at a motel? Yep. So let's go talk to this guy. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? Talk, man. Oh, I guess I didn't really need to. Show ID. Show mug shots. Well, the photograph is vaguely familiar. I believe his name was William Cole. He had room 108. Alright. Aha, you think to yourself, Bane is using the name Cole. Aha. So let's um get in the car. And let's radio whoops. So we are radioing for a search warrant. If you don't get the search warrant, then it's not good. But what we also need is to radio in again. Whoops. Radio for backup. And then, of course, Keith grabs it and takes all the credit. So a support team has been dispatched to us, and now we can stop daydreaming and get out. Here's a search warrant, Sonny. Oh, nice. Here comes our backup. So let's go back to this guy. Yes, what can I do for you? Apparently we... Let's get the warrant, I think, from this guy first. Let's get warrant. Get war ant. You say thanks. He leaves. Let's open trunk and get our kit before it's. We go up there and let's show this guy the warrant. He says, okay, now what? Get key. Anything you say, officer, and we get the key to room 108. Now, which one is room 108? Is it this one? It should be on the first floor. Alright, so let's, uh...
Let's save the game here because obviously something's going on. Let's Pally. All right, open door. Sunny, be careful now. As the door opens, you are startled by a sudden explosion. Boom! Train reflexes throw you back, slamming your gun hand against the wall. That was too close for comfort. You watch as the SWAT team unloads tear gas into the room. Actually, I'm going to reload that, because I'm pretty sure I expected to die there. If you're right in front of the door... There we go. Because of your improper positioning, you've been blasted into oblivion. Great job. I guess we've successfully taken ourselves out of the game. So let's open it back from here again. Because apparently opening it from the left works as well. I thought it was just the right before, but... Alright, so they launch that in there. And let's go inside. Ah, excellent. Whoops. That's what happens. The gas is cleared. It appears you can enter the hotel room. If you try to go in before that, the gas gets you too. Keith walks over and picks up a shotgun. Here's the little culprit. Sonny, I'll take it out to the car and run the numbers. Alright, so it turns out it was just uh, a booby trap. It's still kind of creepy in here, though. And next time on Let's Play Police Quest, we are going to search this room. See you then.